Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get one of my favorite games working on Linux. We're talking about the Master Chief Collection. Uh, so, to start off, you need to purchase the game, and you can find out how you can purchase it by going to the store and searching for the game and all that. Now, once you've got the game in your library, you can search through and find the Master Chief Collection. So, you can also just type in the Master Chief Collection like that. Next thing you want to do is you want to click on it here, and then you want to click the install button. Now to install, you just go through, click next, click to agree, and it will create local game files. Now I already have the game on the file system, just because otherwise you guys would have to sit through 24, uh, 24 hours of download to get this working. So thankfully, you don't have to do that, we just have to wait for it to install. So the game is installed now, but we can't exactly play it, and this is because the version of Proton that you enable, and uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you have to enable Steam Play, and all of that is covered in the written guide in the description. But uh, the game is, is it, it does run, but it doesn't work with Xbox Live because we need to install a custom version of Proton. Now, the way to do that is to go to the description, and follow these steps. So first let's launch a terminal and then we can go create a new folder like so. Next thing, and if you're using the Flatpak version of Steam you do this one. Next thing we need to do is we need to move into the temporary folder and we need to download this the Proton fix for the Master Chief Collection. And by the way, you should close Steam during this process because sometimes it doesn't detect what's going on. Now that the download is complete, we can extract it into the desired folder, which is Steam Root Compatibility D. And uh, it'll be done in a second here. And now we can verify that it's there by going into root and taking a look and we see Proton 421 is right there. Now we can reopen Steam like so and uh, let it relaunch and we go to Master Chief Collection, click on Properties, force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. Now from here you gotta look through your list. Sometimes it doesn't show up. I've noticed that you may have to restart it a couple of times. So I had to restart my Steam, but basically just check this box here and then you can find the custom Proton that we set, at, set up and check the box, check the box and select it in the menu, then click close. From here all the hard work is done. If you have an Xbox Live account, you can go ahead and just uh, click the play button and uh, it's going to tell you that Steam will launch with Steam Play, a compatibility tool. You need to click continue to allow it to do stuff. If you want to play without the anti-cheat, you can select the play without anti-cheat, but I would recommend just playing with this, especially if you want to play online. Click the play button. It's going to get ready to launch, and you can actually check this box here to launch it as soon as it plays, and we will get going with it in a moment. Just about 26 seconds. So as you can see, the game has now launched. Uh, everything is working perfectly thanks to our modification, and we can get ready to uh, log in. I will log into my Xbox Live account so that you can see the game working. So the first thing you're going to see is let's get you signed in, and pretty much if you have a Microsoft Xbox and you have an Xbox Live account or you don't, you can just sign in. I'm going to sign in with my account now. and. Uh, Quick process, it'll automatically connect to your system and it's going to show you your gamer tag. Then you can just click Let's Play and it will log in. So from here, I'm in my Xbox account. I can click the campaign button and I can select and I can select multiplayer as well. I'm going to just load in campaign uh, just because I need to be able to show you the game.
One thing I have noticed when using it is you may run into some weirdness with the UI. I've had to press the mouse button a couple of times, I've resorted to highlighting and pressing the enter key, but it is a work in progress and I assume as the person who maintains the uh, Proton that we're using, it will, uh, you know, it'll work good. But you just here's some gameplay, just know, so you know that it's running 100% on Linux. Everything is working fine. Uh, you know, gotta gotta get the game going. Uh, just so I can show you. So I apologize if this video is long, but I just want to make sure that it all works. Let me skip these cutscenes. Can I do that? Okay, maybe let's pick a different level then, because. The first game is, the first level is not, it's just a cutscene, so. Okay. Okay, let's go to Nightfall. Good mission. And we can click the start button, launch game. And it's starting up. But yeah, if you're a Halo fan like me, I've been playing Halo since 5th grade, and I'm now 29 years old. It's pretty awesome to see that it's able to run on Linux, just like, you know, like no big deal. It's uh, it's actually, never thought I'd see that day where I could play a game that I got on the Xbox 360 10 years ago on uh, the Linux PC. Now, as you can see, things are a bit wonky for me not quite sure why the mouse is there but it is playable I would just recommend checking out with the Proton developer submitting bugs if you have to you know sometimes you may need to to minimize and and uh, come back into the game and uh, there are definitely some frame rate dips that I'm experiencing but the game works and it's playable and if I hadn't been recording this it would probably look a lot better and run a lot better so anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>